So hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here, I'm Oliver. And back in 2022, so that's uh, three years ago as of the making of this uh, video, I visited northern Germany um, and uh, I took along uh, from the northern sea, from the North Sea, a water sample with some sand. And uh, it's been in this jar now for three years uh, and uh, with a lid on top and I just want to find out if there is still something alive in the sample. Look how ugly the lid started to look. It's already all corroded. I suppose that's because of the salt, uh, of the salt water. The lid uh, essentially prevented evaporation. So I did not add anything uh, to this sample. Or, yeah. And uh, today I'm going to uh, simply take a small amount of the sand and uh, let's put it under the microscope and let's uh, see what we're able to find there. Now, um, when I put it under the microscope, I was uh, not able to see a lot of movement initially. Yeah, it looked pretty dead. I mean, sand grains are all over the place, um, of course. Um, uh, but, you know, it looks deceive sometimes. And uh, then I decided uh, to do a little time lapse. So I recorded uh, this video for several minutes. And then when you speed it up uh, in the video editing software, in this case, 10 times faster, well, then it, everything looks uh, quite a bit different because look, uh, there is so much movement going on here. This actually shows that the sample is still quite alive and something has survived uh, over three years. And uh, indeed, uh, these are diatoms, gliding diatoms uh, that have survived and uh, they are moving around on my microscope slide and they're basically pushing around those little sediment particles and whatever they bump into. Um, yeah, and so I think it's uh, quite, I personally think it's uh, quite fascinating and interesting to see how resilient life is. And uh, essentially, I kept a little ecosystem um, in this jar. So this is actually um, what we call a mesocosm. It's uh, a container which only allows light to go in. Um, and that's going to be the energy source. Uh, so photosynthesis is happening in there. Um, and uh, the carbon dioxide that is made is then again used uh, by the algae and by the diatoms uh, for photosynthesis. This is again. Um, I also zoomed in quite a bit uh, more, um, and uh, using my high power uh, objective, I was also able to see spiral shaped bacteria. Um, so they too uh, are essentially present and uh, are able to live in this sample here. But what I'm going to do now, I think, is, is I'm going to now take a, some tissue paper and I'm going to clean off uh, all of this stuff here because this also looks pretty ugly. And I think uh, there might even be some mold already present here. Um, I think I'm going to remove everything here. And then maybe um, I'm going to put it again under the microscope after a couple of months or years maybe. Then we're going to see how much uh, of uh, the sample has survived. I just wanted to share with you uh, that with you today. I think it's always fascinating uh, to discover new things uh, with a microscope. I'm going to leave it at that. I would like to invite you to subscribe uh, to this channel. Um, of course, if you like these videos, happy microbe hunting as always, and see you around in the next video. Bye-bye.